Good evening and welcome to MTV's news update for today, December 8, 2020. I'm Sandy Ramutar for the World Top Headlines. GNBA gets new board of directors. Ghana records 391 recoveries, three new COVID-19 cases. First person receives a physical COVID-19 vaccine in the UK. And in sport, GOA to host maximizing sports media webinar. Now for the news in details. Authority General Anand Lal has made it categorically clear that the government's decision to deport Haitians was not a racist one, as alleged by Authority Darren Wade. Luan Williams reports. Attorney representing the Haitians, Darren Wade, claimed that the foreign nationals entered legally and their deportation is a form of racism by the government. However, Attorney General Anil Nandlal, who is representing the state, said the country is incapable of accommodating a large influx of immigrants. He pointed out that the government similarly blocked 1,000 Cubans from entering Guyana, who was camped out across the Suriname borders, waiting for the ferry crossing to resume operations. He was at the time speaking on Trinidad CNN TV6 last evening. And it is not an issue of ethnicity and race. It's an issue of emigration and the capacity of Guyana to accommodate this without settled policies, parameters, infrastructures, etc. That is the issue. And that is why I keep referencing the Venezuelan situation and the Cuban situation. We have said to the Cuban ambassador, we have said to Suriname, deal with those people over there. We don't have the space to accommodate them here at this point in time. Nandlal said the situation is a complex one and the government sometimes has to make difficult decisions. Acting Chief Justice Roxon George Wilshire on Friday halted the deportation until the determination of the fixed state application seeking to release the foreign nationals from detention. The case will come up for hearing on December 18. Luan Williams, Friend TV's News Update. Dr. Madan Rambaran, who is director of the Dr. E. Supersort Clinical Education Centre, University of Ghana, has been named the chairman of the new board of directors appointed for the Georgian Public Hospital Corporation. The board will serve for a period of one year until November 30. The other members of the board are Chartered Accountant Harry Ram Parmeshwar, Permanent Secretary Ministry of Health Malcolm Watkins, Head of Neurosurgery at the GPHC Dr. Amarnath Dugi, Director of Medical and Professional Services, GPHC, Dr. Fawcett Jeffrey, former Chief Executive Officer at the GPHC, retired Brigadier George Lewis, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Engagement, University of Ghana, Dr. Emmanuel Cummings, Cleopatra Barco representing the Ghana North Association, and Dawn Gardner representing the Ghana Public Service Union. The other member, still to be named to serve on the board, is a representative from the Ministry of Finance. Authority at Long Glen Hanuman has been named chairman of the Ghana National Broadcasting Authority as the government announces the new board of directors. Here is Lorne Williams. The Office of the Prime Minister has announced the appointment of the new Board of Directors for the Ghana National Broadcasting Agency. The Board of Directors were appointed by President Dr. Irfan Ali, pursuant to the Broadcast Act of No. 17 of 2011. Attorney Glenn Hanuman has been appointed as the Chairman of the Board. Other members of the Board are Telecommunications and IT Specialist Valmiki Singh, Administrative and Marketing Manager Devi Sukdio, Broadcaster and Radio Frequency Communications Engineer Robert Mohammed, Digital Communications Specialist Jason Abdullah, and IT Specialist Daryl Akion. The Office of the Prime Minister in a statement said the appointments were made after a significant examination of the most competent and available Ghanese and will take effect from December 1 for a period of one year. The Prime Minister Office said the diverse and experienced board is an indication of the government's commitment to ensuring professionalism, equity and high standard in the broadcasting industry. Luan Williams for MTV's News Update. More news coming up on the other side of the break.
Experience more this Christmas with a new Digicel Prime bundle. More data to listen more with Day Music. Chat more with Bip. Tune in more on Go Loud. Store more on the cloud with Billow. Plus extra data. Simply more bundles together. 30 gigabytes for seven days for only $2,000. More data, more fun. Better together this Christmas with Digicel. Guyana's local coconut industry comprises a total of 28,000 acres of land with an annual production of 90 million nuts. It is the main non-traditional crop playing a fundamental role in the livelihood of rural farming communities. Coconut exports earned for Guyana a total of $1.2 billion in 2019. In recognition of its development potential, the Ministry of Agriculture, through the National Agriculture Research and Development Institute, NARI, the New Guyana Marketing Corporation, and Hope Estate, has launched a national training and sensitization project to be conducted in every region of the country where coconuts are currently grown. This project will see coconut farmers, householders who have coconut trees in their yards, those involved in downstream value-added production, all exposed to training in opportunities available within the sector to expand production and increase income. These training opportunities are being provided free of cost by the government of Guyana in the face of growing international demand for the nuts and their byproducts. Information on these training opportunities will be provided via print and broadcast media and on all social media platforms. A message from the Ministry of Agriculture. now using Softex toilet tissue. Available in leading supermarkets countrywide, Softex is always silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp and babies love it. Softex comes available in single rolls, economy pack, six pack, and one dozen packages. Just perfect for any budget. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. For more information, telephone 622-4197. In the first two years, your baby will experience amazing growth in so many ways. To fuel it, they need the right nutrition. With Nestum, two servings of goodness a day provide the wholesomeness of carefully selected baby grape grains, the additional iron that their brain needs to develop, and the yummy taste baby loves, assuring you the right nutrition in two servings. Nestum, it's all good, Mom. Learn more online with Nestle Baby and Me. <laughs> Good day. My name is Dropit Panya Sudden, and this is The Now. While living with HIV is no longer a death sentence, contracting HIV makes you twice as likely to contract other diseases, such as tuberculosis and coronavirus. <laughs> Persons can still receive their antiretrovirals even being at home. I know these individuals living with HIV are very worried about leaving and contracting COVID-19. It's important that they continue to use these medications even while battling COVID-19 to help fight off additional infections and to help strengthen their immune system. For the now, I am Drop It Ponya Sudden. For more information, call us on 592-227-8683 or 226-5371, extension 215. Welcome back. The Ghana Sugar Corporation is on course to achieving its goal of producing 89,000 metric tons of sugar for the second crop of this year as the Eiffel Estate wraps up production with a total of 18,599 metric tons of sugar. More in this in Griffith reports. The Guyana Sugar Corporation has recorded 85,531 megatons of sugar as the Iflat Estate concluded its production for the second crop of this year with a total of 18,599.4 metric tons. 
Gaisuko is therefore on course to achieving 89,000 metric tons of sugar before the crop closes in two weeks. Manager of the IFAT estate, Yudhisthira Manas, said the company was able to meet the target despite various challenges as a result of the inclement weather during the latter part of the crop and the lack of timely access to spare parts. He also commended the workers for their commitment to improving sugar production despite the many challenges. The estate manager assured that all measures will be taken to improve both infrastructure and other conditions for 2021 and beyond. The estate cultivates and manages a total of 6,006 hectares of sugar cane, of which several members of the Private Cane Farmers Association control 1,750 hectares. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Celine Griffith. We tell you now, a UK grandmother has become the first person in the world to be given a physical COVID-19 jab as part of a mass vaccination program. Margaret Keenan told the BBC that it was the best early birthday present. She was given the injection this morning, the first of 800,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine that will be dispensed in the coming weeks. Up to 4 million more are expected by the end of the month. Hubs in the UK will vaccinate over 8 days and some health and care staff. The program aims to protect the most vulnerable and return life to normal. The United Minibus Union has disagreed with the government's decision to allow public transportation to carry the full number of passengers during the COVID-19 pandemic. More in this report. President of the United Minibus Union, Eon Andrews, said there should be a revision of the current COVID-19 measures, which allows public transportation providers to transport the full number of passengers. He said minibuses should transport two in a seat to allow for adequate distancing between passengers. Andrews said he is not pleased that public transportation operators have been placing economic benefits ahead of safety. And what is dangerous about it is at this point in time where a second wave is anticipated and it's on its way, it is more important for us to ensure that we have that social distancing. When you tell our public transportation provider that they can sky full capacity. You know, you're just creating a situation where you're more or less endangering the life of persons because as much as I might be representing bus people, we have a civil duty to ensure that we take our passengers safe in a, a comfortable manner and more so in this COVID-19 scenario. You need to have some amount of social distancing and sanitation as much as possible. He pointed out that some minibus operators are not wearing masks and some drivers are overloading the minibuses. The union president was keen to know that the union is not an enforcement agency and therefore can only advise the service providers. Because of the level of indiscipline, right, fueled by greed, you find that they're putting out four in a seat as long as they're not monitored. I mean, it's fine. And you can find also that in these um, vehicles, about 65% of the person do not wear masks. So what are we saying to, to our people? That is all right to go out there and get sick? Why should we? Andrews is calling for the National COVID-19 Task Force to engage the union and other stakeholders before making such decisions. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Celine Griffith. Still ahead, GAN records 391 recoveries, 3 new COVID-19 cases, and man gunned down in Kitty. I have many wishes for Christmas. A freshly painted home, a new vacation home, a new car, home furnishings, my dream wedding, new kitchen appliances, a new smart TV, a new phone for Zion, school fees too. Gosh, I still want this work from home office area. I just wish I could get some extra cash to clear my debts altogether. Do you feel the same? GBTI is granting 12 wishes for Christmas. As a new mom, there are moments of pride, joy, and doubt. Yes, doubt. Has he slept enough? Does she have everything that she needs? Will she be okay in the sun? These doubts come from love. For the good of baby, two servings of Nestum are full of all the goodness and naturalness of the cereals that your baby needs to blossom. That's one less thing to worry about. Nestum, it's all good, Mom. Learn more online with Nestle Baby and Me. <laughs> Planning a cleanup? We can help. 
Sivan's waste management skip bins can be provided for home renovation projects, yard cleanups, or construction sites. It's simple. Step one, just pick up the phone and give us a call. Step two, we deliver the skip bin size of your choice. Step three, load the skip with all of your junk. And finally, step four, we take it all away. It's that simple. Bins are also available in various sizes, so there's no job that's too big or too small. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. Shop at John Lewis Styles in December and you could win one Amazon Fire tablet every day. Yes, every day. And that's not all. Four persons will win half a million dollars to spend in the store. Just imagine, half a million dollars to spend on clothing, footwear, watches, fragrances, handbags, luggage and accessories. So shop now at John Lewis Styles to win, one Amazon tablet every day and half a million dollars to spend in the store. John Lewis Styles, simply different. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care care professionals. Good day. My name is Dropit Panya Sudden and this is The Now. While living with HIV is no longer a death sentence, contracting HIV makes you twice as likely to contract other diseases such as tuberculosis and coronavirus. <laughs> Persons can still receive their antiretrovirals even being at home. I know these individuals living with HIV are very worried about leaving and contracting COVID-19. It's important that they continue to use these medications even while battling COVID-19 to help fight off additional infections and to help strengthen their immune system. For the now, I am Drop It Ponya Sudden. For more information, call us on 592-227-8683 or 226-5371, extension 215. Beeson Windows and Doors, fully equipped to handle all your commercial projects. Whether you're constructing a small or large commercial building, residential property, or just upgrading your home, they got you covered. Beeson Windows and Doors, providing unmatched quality windows for your home, office, and commercial building. Located at 1228 Eccles Industrial Site. For more information, call 662-4197 or 226-1292. You're tuned to MTV's News Update. Two prisoners were discovered with a quantity of prohibited items concealed in bread bins on November 17 at the Lusignan Prison, East Coast, Demerara. Director of Prisons Gladwin Samuel said the two prisoners under the supervision of a prison officer were transporting four bread bins from the prison's kitchen to the holding bay when the gate officer on duty conducted a search and unearthed a quantity of prohibited items. Minister of Home Affairs Robeson Ben was briefed of the discovery. The illicit items included 553 grams of cannabis, 15 cartons of cigarettes, a quantity of alcohol and other contraband items like chewing gum and lighters, which were all concealed in bread bins. The police have launched an investigation into the matter and three prison officers have been charged departmentally for neglect of duty. However, these departmental charges will in no way prevent the officers from being charged criminally if the investigations find that they were involved in the illegal act. For MTV's News Update, Chelsea Lee. Ghana's COVID-19 cases have increased to 5,700 as three new cases were recorded in the last 24 hours. The new cases were recorded in Regions 1, 4 and 7. The death toll stands at 154. Region 4 accounts for more than 50% of the new cases for this month. 391 recoveries were recorded which increased the total number to 4,108. There are currently 711 active cases, with 638 of those cases isolating at home. Four patients are in the COVID-19 intensive care unit. 
A late night outing turned deadly last evening after a 60-year-old man was shot by two armed bandits in Garnet Street, Newtown Kitty. Here are the details. Dead is 60-year-old Peter Gonzalves, a contractor and father of fourth of Pierce Street, Kitty. The shooting incident occurred last night at around 21.45 hours in front of the red bar located on Garnet Street, Newtown Kitty. According to reports, Gonzalves and his co-worker were proceeding on a motorcycle west along Garnet Street to purchase cigarettes when he was attacked by two men on a motorcycle, one of whom was armed with a handgun. Police said Gonzalves was shot several times and pronounced dead at the scene. After committing the crime, the bandits made good their escape with Gonzalves' black and white XR motorcycle, valued at $450,000. No one has been arrested at this time. Investigations are continuing. Lua Williams, Frame TV's News Update. Now for tonight's edition of Health Tip. People with lactose intolerance are unable to fully digest the sugar in milk. As a result, they have diarrhea, gas, and bloating after eating or drinking dairy products. The condition, which is also called lactose malabsorption, is usually harmless, but its symptoms can be uncomfortable. A deficiency of lactase, which is an enzyme produced in your small intestine, is usually responsible for lactose intolerance. Many people have low levels of lactase but are able to digest milk products without problems. If you are actually lactose intolerant though, your lactase deficiency leads to symptoms after you eat dairy foods. Most people with lactose intolerance can manage the condition without having to give up all dairy foods. Symptoms the signs and symptoms of lactose intolerance usually begins 30 minutes to 2 hours after eating or drinking foods that contain lactose. Common signs and symptoms include diarrhea, nausea and sometimes vomiting, abdominal cramps, bloating, gas. Causes Lactose intolerance occurs when your small intestine does not produce enough of an enzyme to digest milk sugar. Normally, lactase turns milk sugar into two simple sugars, glucose and galactose, which are absorbed into the bloodstream through the intestinal lining. If you are lactase deficient, lactose in your food moves into the colon instead of being processed and absorbed. In the colon, normal bacteria interact with undigested lactose, causing the signs and symptoms of lactose intolerance. Risk factors Factors that can make you or your child more prone to lactose intolerance include Increasing age Lactose intolerance usually appears in adulthood. The condition is uncommon in babies and young children. Ethnicity. Lactose intolerance is most common in people of African, Asian, Hispanic, and Indian descent. Premature birth. Infants born prematurely may have reduced levels of lactase because the small intestine does not develop lactase-producing cells until late in the third trimester. Diseases affecting the small intestine. Small intestine problems that can cause lactose intolerance include bacterial overgrowth, celiac disease, and Crohn's disease. Certain cancer treatments. If you have received radiation therapy for cancer in your abdomen or have intestinal complications from chemotherapy, you have an increased risk of lactose intolerance. Treatment There is currently no way to boost your body's production of lactase, but you can usually avoid the discomfort of lactose intolerance by Avoiding large servings of milk and other dairy products Including small servings of dairy products in your regular meals Eating and drinking lactose-reduced ice cream and milk Drinking regular milk after you add a liquid or powder to it to break down the lactose. Lifestyle and home remedies. With some trial and error, you may be able to predict your body's response to different foods containing lactose and figure out how much you can eat or drink without discomfort. Few people have such severe lactose intolerance that they have to cut out all milk products and be wary of non-dairy foods or medications that contain lactose. Reducing the dairy products does not mean you cannot get enough calcium. Calcium is found in many other foods such as broccoli, calcium-fortified products such as breads and juices, canned salmon, milk substitutes such as soy milk and rice milk, oranges, spinach. Also make sure you get enough vitamin D, which is typically supplied in fortified milk. Eggs, liver and yogurt also contain vitamin D, and your body makes vitamin D when you spend time in the sun. Even without restricting dairy foods though, many adults do not get enough vitamin D. To be sure, talk to your doctor about taking vitamin D and calcium supplements. ISG and MTV's Sport Update is next. Stay tuned.
Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade with our wall and ceiling gypsum system. It's light, durable, and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Sherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut for that 31 years of Lens quality. Are you having sore throat, fever, coughing, headache, or runny nose? Take Cetamol Cold and Flu day or night. Ask your pharmacist for Cetamol Cold and Flu and get back to the happier you. Distributed by Massey Distribution. Are you having sore throat, fever, coughing, headache, or runny nose? Take Cetamol Cold and Flu day or night. Ask your pharmacist for Cetamol Cold and Flu and get back to the happier you. Distributed by Massey Distribution. In the first two years, your baby will experience amazing growth in so many ways. To fuel it, they need the right nutrition. With Nestum, two servings of goodness a day provides the wholesomeness of carefully selected grains. Tailored nutrition to grow. And the yummy taste baby loves, complementing the proper nutrition in two servings. Nestum, it's all good, Mom. Learn more online with Nestle Baby and Me. <laughs> you can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick fit for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket a day could make you rich today. Shop $50,000 or more at any of Carrefour's seven locations countrywide and you will earn an entry into our Christmas promotion. Over 150 fabulous prizes to be won. And these include tools hampers, power tools, pressure cookers, electric kettles and solar lights. And three grand prizes, an air conditioner unit, one complete solar system and a brand new motor car. Drawings will take place on the 12th and 19th of December and our grand prize drawing on the 23rd of December. So make your holiday season special by shopping at Gaffoo's, the name you can trust. Conditions apply. See press for more details. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. West Indies fast bowler Kimar Roach and wicketkeeper batsman Shane Dowrich will miss the second and final test match against New Zealand. According to Cricket West Indies selection panel, both players will return home this week. 
Roach departs following the death of his father, Ang Dowrich, for personal reasons. Meanwhile, Shimron Hetmar is still under concussion protocols after receiving a blow to his head during the second T20 International, while Kimo Paul is still being treated for a groin injury. The two are being closely monitored by the team's medical staff and decisions on their availability will be made soon. In the interim, the panel has called on Joshua De Silva to replace Dowrich while Nkrumah Bonner and Preston McSween will remain with the squad as cover. The West Indies can test their second and final test against the Black Caps in Wellington from Friday. They trail 0-1 after New Zealand claimed victory by an innings and 134 runs. Still on cricket, Jason Holder has been bumped from the top of all-rounders ranking by West Indies teammate Jermaine Blackwood as the highest-ranked batsman. This comes following the first test debacle against New Zealand last weekend in Hamilton. Holder had a lean time with both bat and ball as the Caribbean side suffered a dreadful innings and a 134-run defeat in under four days. He now sits second in the all-rounder chart and 44th in the batting rankings, losing three spots. Opting to bowl first, the West Indies saw New Zealand rack up 519 for 7 declared, with Holder going wicketless. Captain Holder also suffered in the bowlers' rankings, dropping two spots to seventh. He remains one of three Caribbean players in the top 20, with Kimar Roach slipping to 16th and Shannon Gabriel moving up to 19th. We tell you now... Caribbean bantamweight champion Kevin Alicock was recently awarded an Olympic Solidarity Scholarship from the International Olympic Committee. After months of no rigorous training, Alicock has returned to the gym, keen on qualifying for the upcoming Olympic Games in Tokyo. The scholarship worth US $500 will serve as a boost for the local pugilist to ensure training and preparations are accessible for his campaign in Tokyo come 2021. Uh, the, the pressure is good. To be honest, the pressure is good because it makes me focus more, um, knowing that um, I am this guy that everyone would look at, you know, to achieve uh, such a high medal for the country. So uh, it's not anything that I would be afraid of, you know, which I'm confident in myself about. So um, the pressure is good, I can say. Ali Kok is currently ranked 19th in the World Division. In July, Alicock, along with Desmond Amsterdam, Dennis Thomas and Colin Lewis, returned from Cuba after 126 exhausting days. The Pugilists were stranded in Cuba since March 21, while on a three-month training stint ahead of the America's Olympic qualifier in Argentina, which was later postponed. In other news, the Guyana Olympic Association will tomorrow night host a webinar to help local athletes maximize sports media as they gear up for a busy Olympic season schedule for the summer of the new year. President of the GOA Kalam Juman Yasin said the aim of the seminar is to enlighten sport athletes about the importance of media, which takes the form on many fronts. Yasin said, as technology evolves, it is important to understand how it works and how to use it to develop each athlete's branding. Guyana's four-time Olympian and Panam Athletes Commission President Alian Pompey will take the lead among the facilitators. Pompey said the forum will provide unique opportunities for athletes to fine-tune and effectively use social and news media to reach athletic goals. The Maximizing Media Seminar will get underway on December 9 from 19 hours via Zoom. Still on Olympics, athletes competing in the upcoming Tokyo Olympic Games will have a shorter-than-usual stay due to tight COVID-19 protocols. Reuters said this was confirmed by the International Olympic Committee. During a virtual news conference, IOC President Thomas Bash urged the committees to adapt athletes and support staff travel plans so they do not arrive too early or stay too late to minimize the risk of infections. Bash said this will also apply to some sport officials. This means athletes competing in the second week of the Olympics would not be attending the traditional opening ceremony. The IOC said there would also be tighter controls on who can stay in the athlete's village to protect the competitors. The pandemic earlier this year forced the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics by a year. Finally in basketball, three members of the Toronto Raptors have tested positive for COVID-19 during mandated testing prior to training camp. According to the NBA, Raptors made this disclosure on Monday. While the players were not identified, it was disclosed all three players are and will continue to self-isolate from the rest of the organization. The team said adherence to protocols, follow-up testing and contract tracing has so far revealed no spread to other members of the Raptors organization.
They will continue to follow safety protocols and will update the situation as appropriate. The Raptors arrived in Florida last week for training camp and will start the season playing home games owing to travel restrictions. The 2020-2021 NBA season will bounce off on December 22 with a 72-game schedule and play in tournaments for each conference. From TV Sports Update, Chelsea Lee. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. Guyana's sole distributor of NP and ultra lubricants, SKF bearings, seal and belts, international trucks and parts, and NAPA batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after-sales service. ISG supplies sustainable integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at Lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG, the best opportunity to make the right choice. Brings down the curtain in tonight's newscast. But before we go, here's a reminder of our stock stories. GNB against new board of directors. Ghana records 391 recoveries, three new COVID 19 cases. First person receives a physical COVID 19 vaccine in the UK. And in sport, GOA to host maximizing sports media webinar. Catch our broadcast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Sandy Ramutar saying stay safe and goodbye for now.